now at four. Remembering a legend. I've covered a few stories. Gabe Pressman, a New York icon, a pioneering reporter, and witness to history. You feel like Samson, if you lost your hair, you'd lose what you have? Is it just? So no, I don't know. For your country, and for our country. Gabe's covered every story New York has to tell. The waves wash into the beach as they have for thousands of years. And now, New York honors him. Six decades of Gabe Pressman seems like hardly enough. Thank you, Gabe. It's been a great run. News Force tribute to our own Gabe Pressman starts now. He was a colleague, a mentor, and true journalist for everyone here in our newsroom and at 30 Rock. Word spread quickly early this morning about Gabe's death, and tributes are pouring in from everywhere. Good afternoon. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephen Holt, and it is really a sad day here at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Heavy hearts at News 4 New York. As remember a man we all called a friend, and we're lucky to call a friend. Gabe touched so many lives, and even at 93 years old, he never stopped working, showing up in this newsroom just last week. And we all saw him here. He's an impact so big. We brought back an old friend, a legend in her own right, Sue Simmons. We are honored to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Natalie. You know, it's, it is hard to imagine living here without the presence of Gabriel Stanley Pressman, undeniably the dean of journalism in this city. He held us all to nearly unreachable standards. To know him was to love him, be frustrated by him, and above all, to be held accountable by him. Gabe Pressman wasn't just a part of New York. In some ways, he was New York, a city that he loved with a cynical passion. The biggest, rashest, saddest, and in some ways, the cruelest and yet the most exciting city of them all. Gabe Pressman's career as a journalist spanned more than six decades. You could say it was in his blood from the start. Gabe was born on Valentine's Day, grew up in the Bronx. His first foray into the news biz was at the age of eight. He published a family newsletter with headlines like Cousin Teddy's First Tooth and Grandma's Sponge Cake, made from real sponges. He started as a print reporter in 1949 and entered the age of radio and television in its infancy. What's going on in the metropolitan area tonight? But Gabe was no studio journalist. He took his microphone and his camera to the streets as soon as it was technically possible. When the Andrea Doria sank, Gabe Pressman was there with his camera. When President Harry Truman took those early morning walks, Gabe Pressman was there with his camera. What do you think of this gadget we've got covering you today? That's a bandia. <laughs> I don't think that tired. Every significant politician who ever set foot in a convention hall or city hall for half a century holding their feet to the fire. He was despised by nine mayors of New York City. What is your name? It's fair to say that if it happened in New York City, Gabe was there. Miss Monroe, this is a rather personal question. Anything in particular about Mr. Bullock uh, attracted you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you miss the hysterical females, the, uh, the the adulation you got wherever you went? I'm sure you don't you don't get that in the barracks. You do miss that even even those who grab for your clothes and your hair and everything. Because that is my greatest love. Like I said, entertaining people. You feel like Samson? If you lost your hair, you'd lose what you have. I don't like your tie. <laughs> Make no mistake. Interviewing celebrities was not Gabe's stock and trade. For six decades, he asked the tough questions of world leaders, city politicians, even mobsters. But his real passion was for the little people. It's three o'clock in the morning. He's wheeling a cart loaded with plastic bags brimming with empty cans and bottles. Whether it was a story about the homeless, Occupy Wall Street, or a gentrified East Village neighborhood, Gabe was inspired most by covering the people of New York. I love New York, and thanks for riding along. Our pleasure, Gabe. He is survived by his wife, Vera, four children, eight grandchildren, and one great-grandson. Sad day. So you and I were chatting earlier, you said you met him back in 1980. Can you share just maybe one of your favorite memories? Well, in, in 1980, he had just come back here from Channel 5, and we had this big 
uh, meeting in the studio to welcome him back. And um, he said, uh, I feel like Rip Van Winkle, except it's all of you who've been sleeping, you know? <laughs> and so that's, and from that day on, I, I looked for his approval every day. I mean, I didn't ask him for it, you know, but when he would say good things to me about the work that we had done, uh, it was very special because he'd been there and done that. And coming from him, it was a treat. He's meant a lot to so yes. many of us, and Sue, I just have to say, it is so good to see you back here. Thank you for sharing your memories. I wish it wasn't under these circumstances. Me, me too, but it's it's wonderful and strange. Sue, so, thank you so much. Okay. We appreciate it. And as we said.